that very very many times when pilots think they've fallen out of the sky because of a collapse actually what's happened is they've fallen out of the sky because maybe they did have a bit of a collapse but then without realizing it even very experienced pilots I've seen even like British champions or other champions can sometimes inadvertently pull a bit of brake on and end up stalling their glider and they don't think they did they're convinced they didn't if only if somebody happens to have video footage later you can confirm they got a surprise to find they did. Uh, very often pilots have just from turbulent air or a collapse have inadvertently stalled or spun their glider and they didn't realize that the feeling is the first part of the stall is quite subtle some wings more than others but generally I'd say it's quite a subtle feeling which I think the majority of paraglider pilots are lacking that feeling and so they end up inadvertently over braking the glider either from in turbulence, which is very different to smooth air, your glider will stall much, much more easily. In turbulent air, especially if it's swirling around, say the, the wind's flicking directions, sea breeze front coming on, a sea breeze coming in and reversing the wind from a site or a valley wind, or just the wind changing, or a thermal cycle causing the wind to sell, swell. And that has the effect of meaning that one minute your glider is pointing into wind, for one second your glider is pointing into wind so it's got a certain amount of airspeed but then the glider goes into that swirling air and suddenly you can have the air from the side or even behind and suddenly you're, you've lost a huge amount of airspeed just in, in like a second or a few seconds but your brake position might be the same and that's where the glider can stall and pilots often think the glider just stalled, just stalled on me but um, I've never seen a glider just spontaneously stall completely on its own except for in a in very 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 rare circumstances and that was quite a few years ago where the glider was very old and out of trim and it was made out of galvanor which had a tendency for the material to stretch and lose its shape so the glider was old it was out of trim the material was a bad material to use because it was dimensionally unstable and then i still think it's quite probable that the pilot who was quite experienced um, just touched on a bit of brake and yeah that caused the glider to go into a stable stall near the ground and not recover.